Hey guys, it's Merrick here. Monday, 31st of January. We just had that winter blast there on the weekend. We got to put a foot of snow and then it rains. So it's pretty content now. My feet are sinking a little bit there. Uh, pretty sketchy spots on the lake. But uh, so far, so good. So I'm just kind of curious as to what the winter storm did to our shelter in progress. quite slushy you can see the water coming in right so I've got to be really careful and this is all flooded so probably because oh my foot just sunk a foot very sketchy man this side is horrible compared to the other side way better my foot is sinking like the foot into this snow and slush I don't got far to go I just hope where we enter the woods up here it's looking pretty wet Ay, ay, ay. Sometimes I wonder what I get myself into here. I'm out solo as well, so I'll add it to the risk a bit. I do have a jacket I use for bushcraft. It's, it's a floater jacket, so built-in life preserver if I do fall through. Well, what a... Man, yeah. The sun's here, so... The other side is almost all shade near the shore, but on the shore here, it's all sun all day. Anyways, oh my goodness, that looks terrible. I'll try to go around it. Looks like there's a hole right there. Oh man, okay. I don't want to walk all this way couple kilometers and then come to find out that I can't even get in. That does not look good. A little different than when it's all clear ice. Put your ice picks on and go, but here, of course, you got a little bit more drag on your sled. Oh, man, that looks like it opened right up. Aye, aye, aye. All right. I gotta go in right there. Hopefully we don't punch through here. I do see a little hole there. I'm gonna have to be very, very careful. It's very shallow here. So, I did fall through. Look at the woods, it's just full of snow. It's gonna be quite the, quite the trip. Okay, well, look at that. Completely caved in. It's all ice there too, so I gotta get this tightened up. Maybe some drainage holes or something near the bottom. Not really sure what to do yet. A little bit of gas, but I got a big chunks of ice. It's, it's, it's falling right in. I've got to get that all cleaned out. Holy shit! Then I gotta get some firewood cut, and I think. Uh, the old paracord back there from the old shelter, I think. What I'll do is I'll use them to kind of run between, almost like a joist here, just some beams that will run across these logs just to hold that up a little bit. So I gotta do it gently, because I've sewn in that. I just don't want it to rip and tear. So I'm just gonna take my time and do it nice and gently. And uh, so that's, that's what I'm up against right now. <sighs> So I'd like to get this stuff off the roof, get it tightened up a little bit again, and then uh, relax and uh, have a beer or something. So I'm going to get to it here. I don't know if there's a... It's a lot of snow here in the woods. It's quite the winter blast. But anyone that lives on the pretty much the northeast of North America got, got a piece of this, so... That's what it is, guys. Completely collapsed. I tried to get my back underneath that. It's quite heavy. So I'm just going to take little pieces out at a time. And, uh, and then I'll relax for a little bit anyways. Smoking a beer or something. And then uh, 
I'll get some firewood processed and we'll get a fire going and have lunch or something. So, um, <laughs> so that big section there was full of snow and ice, which has kind of worked out good because so was that section and so was this section. And if that section over there wasn't full of ice, this would have completely collapsed, although it was a pretty close to complete collapse anyways. So I got it all off there. Um, you can see the temperature here. You know, pretty close to approaching minus, minus 10. Uh, looks like it's about 18 or 19 degrees Fahrenheit. That's chilly, but uh, I gotta tie this stuff down, maybe stop this breeze from coming in. I don't mind the breeze right now because I got all a little bit worked up, but I'll, I'll maybe just pin these old tarps down a bit better and maybe tie them to a log on the bottom or something just to hold them there. It took a beat and it uh, definitely did some tearing. But the main structure, oh, there's Peter's sunglasses. I left them here. But the main structure stayed up. So uh, we're fortunate there. Anyways, I'll get this all tightened up. I'm just relaxing right now. Um, this is blowing in pretty big. Here, so I've got to find a way to pin this back down. Get some of this wind. The wind's coming off the lake, which is behind me. So the project, I guess, today will just be a find a way to kind of pin these down a little bit. Put a little weight on the bottom. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. I'm not going to close this in. Um, I could easily probably close most of it in just by disconnecting the ropes there for that log, too. Peter wanted this little kind of awning coming off the side there, but um, I intend to build a wall from there down to the ground where that chair is, basically. And then that awning on the outside can be storage or something. We'll enclose all that in, so... It's a work in progress. I don't know how much work I'm going to get done today. I just wanted to get out here after the storm and uh, liberate the, the the roof here. Uh, I might take some some rope and just kind of go along from that beam to that beam, and then from that beam to that beam, and then we'll do that stagger it a few times. It might help distribute the weight a little bit better. But in this little section here, I, I can't believe it didn't rip my little sewn-in welders blanket it didn't even rip that so i'm very very happy but this section here it was so full of snow and ice there's a big huge chunk of ice there i don't know if you can see it i'll zoom in it weighs about i don't know 50 60 pounds and it was stuck right at the bottom so at the bottom of the whole mess was this big big chunk of ice that was right sitting right in there ah uh, Anyways, nothing tore. It's all good. A little bit of work got me out of it. Things are looking good. Oh, this fire's starting to pump out some heat now, so that's nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm tired already. Just getting here and then getting all the snow and ice off the roof of this thing. So I'm just going to enjoy a nice fire and uh, some fireside chat with myself. But uh, we are starting to pump out some heat out of this thing now. So you can see the steam starting to melt off and evaporate all the ice and snow on that. So that'll be the next batch that goes in. But uh, I don't even think I'll fire up the chainsaw. I just don't know. And then even if I do find the material is hard to come by, right? To find, you know, a decent straight tree. You know, it's nice to find something that's dying or on its way out, you know, kind of dead standing trees. You just kind of rock them a little bit and you kind of get an idea how solid they are. And, um, but to, to get the trees cut down and, and process them and limb them and drag them through all this snow, just doesn't sound like anything I really want to do today. So I'm just going to... Just gonna relax here by the fire. Got a decent set of coals here going now, so I should be able to get some some slightly bigger wood in there. But uh, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful sunny winter day, and uh, I'm glad to be out here. All right, guys, we'll uh, we'll get going for now and. Uh, Once I get the rope up and everything, I am going to do that. I'm going to do that here in a minute, and uh, we'll show you what I'm doing there, and we'll see if it works. It's a bit of an experiment. All right, guys. I'll be back. 
more exciting, super exciting <laughs> sarcasm on. But uh, I know it's a bit boring. But it's just really nice to feel the heat with that fire, get them on my boots, kind of nice. So I'm going to enjoy this for a minute, mm, a couple sips of beer, and then I'm going to work on the roof. So uh, we'll be back. I hear you, buddy. Okay, guys. Bye for now. Hey, guys. We got a pot and a frying pan. Anyways, I just got one of those little noodle things. So, we're just going to have that on there. Might take a little bit. Uh, I have so far got one piece of rope across. That's it. And uh, I'll get back to it here. There's get some more rope there. It's not enough to do it all, but I could buy some more rope. They're just cheap stuff at the dollar store is all I need. And then I'm going to tighten this thing back up. And, uh, yeah. I had to go out and cut some more firewood. Getting really low on firewood. Having a hard time getting uh, a lot of heat generated. Um, so I just went out and cut a bunch of small stuff. It's nice to have small stuff like that and then still split it. It's just easier for this little stove. Everything is so wet. You know, we had a foot of snow. And then I, I don't even know how much rain. I didn't even pay that much attention to the, until I went out and shoveled the driveway. I didn't even appreciate how much it had actually snowed. So we just threw this tarp up on, on the frame Friday, to, you know, just literally hours before the storm has started. And uh, so when I came out, man, it was bad. Well, you can see how it's just all droopy here. That's, it was way down, uh, just a couple feet from the floor. In this section, this section, and that section. So I am going to probably carry on a couple more strings of that rope, and then I'm gonna somehow find a way to get this tightened. It's just, I didn't realize how much of a pain in the ass it would be trying to get anything down out here in all this snow. It's, um, so, you know, I'm kind of just relaxing as well. So, in the, by these beer cans there, I don't mean to show you the beer cans, but there's a little hole, it's underneath a bag. That's an old bag of ours, we got a saw in there, like a hand saw and stuff. So I'll shake that off and get that more inside as well. But I saw a little mouse run in there. And then later, like 10 minutes later, he come out of it. He wasn't even that panicked by my presence, and he went right underneath the fireplace. Right underneath the wood stove. That was cute. He it probably just went down there, just enjoying the heat. Then I just had a little squirrel. He's been running around. I didn't bring anything for him today, but we, we blew through a whole bag of peanuts last time. So he's got lots stashed. It was only a few days ago that we were here. So he's got lots stashed. He's probably got enough really to get him through most of the winter. So that's cool. But he just came in. Now I'm making the, mis the little noodles thing there. And I still had some leftover... I got some leftover noodles that just, that broke. Anyway, I gave him a chunk, man. He took it. He was nibbling on it, and he just ran with it. So when he comes back, I'll I'll give him more. He can have what's left in this bag. And uh, that's fun. Anyways, it's kind of neat when you just get a little little shelter with a fire, and the next thing you know, the animals are coming into you just try to get some of that warmth. So I'm assuming. I mean, that's why I'm sure the mouse. Now, the mouse might have already been denned underneath these stumps and stuff. I, don't, I really don't know. I've never seen it before. Peter mentioned last time he was out here he saw a mouse so it must be the same little guy he might have already been denned underneath these stumps and stuff but uh yeah I'll start to give off some nice heat here now. Hey guys all right it's a little screwy but I got my little noodle thing down here and it's just <laughs> literally I don't even know if I can get it tilted over I left most of the water in there so it's like a soup and uh the old, the old noodle treat, right? You can see the steam is nice and hot. It is only zero degrees Celsius in here. It's about 10 degrees or so warmer in here than it is outside, but I'm blocked from most of the wind. But, uh, yeah, so I'm just having some, some lunch. It is um, almost four o'clock, quarter to four. So I've got about an hour and a half of daylight. 
time to go. I don't mind if I have to do the walk in the dark. I've done it so many times. So. It's not the typical, um, you know, frozen lake. It's full of snow that also had rain, so there's like puddles. On this side of the lake, there's, um, I was showing you earlier, there's spots where, you, you know, it's almost a foot deep. In the bottom two or three inches is water. So you have a layer of water sitting underneath a lot of the snow on top of the ice. So, you know, what's that snow doing? It's insulating a bit. So is the ice melting? Is the snow melting? I don't know. Fundamental question. Anyways, a little late. I didn't get out till like noon today. I was up late last night watching like the trucker convoys and stuff. And anyways, I'm not gonna get into politics, but I'm proud of them and I think it's I think it's great. Not sure what my politics has to do with uh, loving freedom, but we love freedom, so, you know, they could have very well just did something and, you know, that would benefit them, them only, and that would be the negotiation they would have. Listen, you you, you, you release the, uh, the quarantine times or something, we cross the border, but they're going, it's balls out, man, it's for ending mandates and everything, so it's, uh, I hope it works. Uh, I'm super proud and I support them. This is really good. It's nice and hot. And uh, nice hot noodly soup. And uh, I don't know what the flavor was. It was um, chicken, of course. Now, I've got a couple of the old dried off, dried up noodles there, and I'll leave them behind for birds and squirrels just in case they like it. And I'll leave it near the entrance to, to the shelter here, so they can just easily get at it. Man, I'm starting to feel some nice heat. Zero degrees still. But there's nothing to hold the heat in here. I've got two open walls, so. But right where I'm sitting right now, it's gotta be 20 degrees. I'm starting to get feeling back on my toes, which is nice. I'm just gonna keep this thing going now. This is, I wanna, a little burst of heat. Normally I wouldn't do this. This is what Peter does. I call it bonfire syndrome. He wants the big bonfire. I like to be, you know, efficient because, well, I mean, they got to gather it all. <laughs> you got to go out there and collect wood and gather wood. You know, it's like the hell with the bonfires, guys. Like, I don't want to go have to go through all that shit again in a couple hours. So, of course, here in Nova Scotia, you know, it's a lot of soft wood. So your wood burns off. When you think you've got enough, I think Les Stroud said it best. Survivor man, when you when you think you got enough, it looks good, but you need five times more to get through the night. Hey guys. Okay, well. Just enjoying my fire. I'm all packed up. Uh, oops, sorry, chainsaw, axe, and everything's put away. Um, Pretty much out of firewood. You know, I could scrounge and probably run another fire for about another hour. That'd be about it. So I'm gonna uh, got my neck warmers on. I got my hat toque with the light. Uh, I'm gonna lose light here in the next 15 minutes or so. So uh, it's, I'm just gonna head out here in a bit. Oops, sorry. Just gonna head out, and uh, I'll be nice and warm because I gotta go out in the lake. And it's probably, I don't know, minus 10 degrees Celsius, minus 15 maybe, wind chill. It's a little bit breezy. Um, as far as the shelter, I got the, the snow and ice off the roof. Uh, it was unbelievable. <laughs> it was caved right in, only a foot or two off the floor. Um, I just kind of buttoned everything up. There's lots of ventilation, that's for sure. And that wall's still pretty much open behind the chair there uh, but it's cozy and um, I don't know if I can tip this back you can't zoom in with this feature <laughs> but uh, right now you know I'm close to 10 degrees Celsius in here so I'm up about 45 or 50 degrees Fahrenheit 
and uh, so it's cozy. I mean, it's I know it's a lot colder out. It's it's 15, 20 degrees colder outside the shelter. So I'm just enjoying my uh, the last bit of my my cola. You know what I mean. So I'm having to finish my cola and uh, my cigar, and it's, it's time to hit the lake and a couple kilometers on the lake, and I'll probably do a video on the lake too. So. Uh, there's a little mouse. There he is. I wonder if I can catch him. Oh, he went under the bag. There he is. He's at the edge. Oh, guys, I don't know if you can see him. See him? Oh, there he goes along the snow. Boom. <laughs> He's in the old shelter. <laughs> Maybe I'll leave the old tarp and let, let the animals make take shelter there, but... Uh... Okay. Back on the lake here. I got a couple you know, kilometers to go. Beautiful sunset. Uh, it's a lot brighter on the camera than it is in reality, but it's a bit of a drudge because of that winter blast. Breezy out here, too, man. It's cold. Ambient temperature probably minus 12, probably minus 15 to minus 20 wind chill out here right now, I'm guessing. Because we had all that snow, and I'm drenching the snow here, it's brutal. And a lot of it, uh, look at that, right from the rain and stuff that came after the snow. A bit risky out here. But I feel safe enough anyways, I made it here, so. You can't even see my old can't even see my old tracks so uh, not really sure the wind must have kind of covered them throughout the day but it didn't snow or nothing anyways successful day got the snow and ice off the shelter and uh, some little improvements had a nice noodle soup lunch nice and hot, so it was appropriate. It is cold. Got my gear. Uh, yeah, it just dries too long. There is, there is ice underneath there somewhere. There it is. Anyways, successful solo trip, I guess.